Um, Haim, we better start with something very, very exciting. It's something we've talked about doing all year because this last show, it is about crossing off uh, loose ends yeah. and ticking boxes. This is where we really, you decide if something's a peter out mm. or a loose end. Got a yeah. lot of peter outs. We're happy for those to just go. Yeah. But this is a loose end we want to tie up. Jack, remember a while back you said this. As you know, my brother-in-law and sister own a roof rack store. Sure. And Don't tell me Jack was calling up for a freebie. No, Paul got an email. Do you know... Uh, is it a Francis Blake or Blake Francis? Oh, Blake Francis, I know. <laughs> he emailed Paul at the, the at the roof rack store, yeah, wanting some free racks for promotion they're doing for the oh. Gold 104 breakfast show. We well, aren't doing anything to do with roof racks. Okay, <laughs> Blake. Can I just say he's yeah. that kind of guy who like always turns up at the tennis, and you just assume that he's getting some kind of free tickets. <laughs> I think he, if I may say, is yeah. more of a weasel than me. <laughs> <laughs> of course he may. Of course he may. Show with what the is the podcast for if it's not some sort of weasel court? <laughs> well, hey, do we set up um, similar to how, remember last year we had Mike, uh, Ready Mike, battle the guy of Pokemon facts. Mm. We had the Pokemon yes. battle. Yes. Do we just do a bit of weasel fighting on the show and we get Blake on versus Jack yes. to really out each other on the most weaselly <laughs> behaviour? <laughs> That's you accusing Blake Francis, a guy you worked with at the radio station where Mm -hmm. it was your real job, not your hobby like this one, (laughs) of Mm -hmm. being more of a weasel than you when it comes to seeking out free things. Yep. Now, there was a situation where Andy's brother-in-law's roof rack store was milked, (laughs) was milked, pumped for a set of roof racks, and they were promised a mention on The Breakfast Show, which has got the most ears Mm. in Melbourne, and that's where you want to be talked about if you were a, a small business. Uh, the the roof rack went out, and if I remember correctly, Jack Christian, your co-host, the yeah. host of the show, he didn't even really want to give it away. By that, like the break had gone long. Yeah, and we didn't of... even know we were meant to be giving away roof racks as part of what we were doing. Yeah, nobody. My sister and her husband and her family had <laughs> they had, 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 had starved, <laughs> gone <laughs> without <laughs> dinner, so they could give those roof racks away. And they also huddled around the wireless hand yeah, to hear yeah. the giveaway. Get the kids back <laughs> from school, yeah. Yeah. and you there was know, no mention it. of it. There was no. This mention. is it. And it was organised by a guy called Blake Francis. Mm. He's the one that rang the store and said, "Listen, I'll get excited, guys. You know, you, you know, it's all Melbourne's going to be talking about this morning is roof yeah. carrier systems. <laughs> you know, you're not going to believe the amount of exposure you get." They got sweet FA. <laughs> then later, <laughs> later, later in in the morning, mm. Huggy, um, Craig Huggison, who <laughs> is that his name? Huggins, like yeah, that. Craig yeah, Huggins. <laughs> yeah, he does the he does the morning show. Much less he is. Yeah. He then went and said they're um what do you say they're fresh they're ads dope 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 dope, 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 AF. <laughs> dope racks and that was that was meant to please the owners of it the didn't. roof rack store who'd given away their racks anyway yeah. Jack you reckon he was trying to weasel a pair for himself and he did lots of, while I worked with him just that year I worked with him a lot of weasel acts from Blake and yep. hence he, today we have the weasel off because we he came on and he said no 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 Jack's a much bigger weasel don't you worry <laughs> about that like you know he joins us on the line now Blake how are you. Ahoy, boys. How are you? Very good, yeah, mate. Very, very well. um, thank you for joining us for this really special event. Uh, it's a special yeah. Hamish and Andy event. And uh, two... Like, just a quick hear... one. I, I need to get this off, off my uh, yep. <laughs> chest on behalf of my brother-in-law who owns the Roof Rack Store. <laughs> Do you sure. feel that the morning show's plug mm-hmm. was as valuable as the promised <laughs> breakfast show plug? This is basically my my uh, opinion of Huggy. I, I value Huggy, uh, and he does a very, very good job, uh, very good at what he does. So in my personal opinion, yes, but according to the to stats it. and numbers, hmm. uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a well-media trained answer. I mean, that, yeah. I, f- I felt like we were listening to a chief health officer there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am worried for you, Jack. So the way the weasel off is going to work is we've obviously had the previous charges against Jack and Blake. Blake's was the fact that he asked for free roof racks from yep. my brother-in-law, promised it to be in a prominent number one rating radio slot 
it mm-hmm. wasn't there. In he the basically end. said, we're going to do a billboard in Times Square. <laughs> and in fact, it was the naked cowboy wearing a sandwich board two streets away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it wasn't exactly. quite the level of exposure yeah. that Roof Carrier Systems had hoped uh, for when it took a serious hit to its inventory <laughs> yeah. by losing a full a full rack of product for yeah. zero cash in return. <laughs> exactly. Um we have often said that Jack's a bit of a weasel. He uh, bought Bitcoin behind our back. He yep. was handing out our autographs in exchange for free sushi <laughs> back in the day yep. down at the supermarket. The charge list for Jack is very, very long. Oh, don't even get us started on. Remember the 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 how many times we had to put up listening to Mission Chips get mentioned so he yeah, could have free exactly. corn chips. All right, if, if this is a court, the judge can't jump on the that's defendant true. as well. That's true. No, but we're just the, judge, the judge is more just going, I can't be bothered reading the full charge list. <laughs> yes. But let's not, uh, um, you know, let's he, not pretend he, it's not little. He flew down some of our fans to build his house. <laughs> he did. They became friends, genuine <laughs> friends. <laughs> Wowie, uh, wowie. So anyway, all, all I'm saying. Oh, I mean, they're he, my genuine friends now. Sure, <laughs> but anyway, here's where the game gets interesting. Jack came out on this podcast as we just heard earlier and said that Blake is a bigger weasel than Jack. We both said to Jack and Blake separately, "Go away and find the biggest weasel maneuver you've heard that the other person has pulled off." Mm-hmm. Present that to Hamish and I, and we'll determine today, here and now, who's the biggest weasel of them all. It's, yep. a, it's an interesting kind of court because it's basically like saying, okay, you're charged with bank robbery. You're charged with bank robbery. If you can prove the other guy did it more than you, <laughs> yeah. we only have one We only have one cell left in the jail system. So who's the worst and who's going in the cell? <laughs> um, Blake, when Jack came out with this claim that you are, in fact, a bigger weasel than him... Yeah. How did that How make did you that... feel? Oh, look, I'm not going to lie. It hit me hard uh, because I thought we had a great rapport with each other. Um, mm. Later down the track, I did find out uh, Jack just didn't have the full information of what the whole promotion was. And so he did admit after the fact that he had made a mistake or he now had the information at hand to understand what I was going to do. But Nonetheless, I'm still a weasel, apparently. So Okay. Well, well, you can serve first. What would you like? You have to present to us something that Jack's up to, up to or been up to that makes sure. him a bigger weasel than you. Off you go. <clears throat> hey, Mr. <Mishnandy>. Nandy. <laughs> I present to you the weaseliest of weasel actions by one Jack Post. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had the privilege of working with Jack on the Gold 104.3 Melbourne radio station for the promotion uh, called Heroes Gold. Uh, For that, we created a beer to raise funds for the bushfire relief, uh, you know, the people who needed it most. Yep, an an admirable cause. Uh, Very, very. Now, we got invited by the the beer brewery um, to come out and have a nice lunch and uh, look at the beer in production, the cases, the beer <laughs> cans going through. Jack will remember very fondly. Yes. Uh, and then by the end, I do remember that they said, oh, we've got some cases here. Would you like to take, you know, one and sample the product? Of course, we were all happy to. Then I'm pretty sure my memory uh, precedes me that, he backed his ute into the driveway <laughs> and continued. He took a couple, which was fine. He's one of the hosts. Uh, and then I think he took one or two more. And I think my ending argument is that there's no worse weasel action than to take from charity. That is what I think. Blame. Wow. Okay. Back a ute in. Back a ute in for a freebie. Terrible drink. Okay. I mean, we I know the guy <laughs> likes a freebie, but to back a truck up after, after a simple offer is a huge move. <laughs> back in a truck up makes it sound like I drove away with 100 slabs. It was a few slabs, and I wasn't taking from the pockets of – the heroes yeah. that helped us yeah, during the bushfires can't, can't the, sell the ones you took. So these that we we didn't we didn't sell out, so people could. <laughs> you oh, didn't know that. This, 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 this is before it went on for sale. I mean, you were taking you were taking taking stock that couldn't be sold. Yeah, and we did sell out as well. So I guess that money would have translated. <laughs> that is. 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Blake, well done. Thank you, you very and, much. And, and, the, and the, you stand here in this courtroom, Jack, and it hadn't even occurred to you that that could be what it was. <laughs> I, I did end up buying some slabs. And paying, paying, oh, and giving big, forward oh, and giving to charity. Gosh, big big whoop. Whoop. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, no, I just I wanted to I be known. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you, if Blake. I, if I may, Your Honour, big whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, a very strong foot put forward. Thank very you. Good. Jacko, thank you. over All right. to you. I have written a little song. This. Oh, <laughs> this, this, I, I'll be honest with you here, Blake. I'd be very confident if I was here because you don't write a song if you think your evidence is good. No. <laughs> you write a song to add performance points to a weak argument. <laughs> in fact, Jack's songs in the past have all been to say, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's been the theme of his song. Yes. Yeah, and this yeah. is so, my first probably non-apology song for the show. It's a non-apology song. Okay. An good. accusatory okay. song. Okay. So okay. this will this will give an example of the type of weasel that Blake is. And we did <laughs> this is an example from when we worked together at Gold 104. Mm-hmm. And my general feelings on weaseling overall. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good luck. Here we go. You and your partner went glamping at the Bell Gowney estate. <laughs> And then the next week we were doing a promotion with them on the show. Was that a coincidence that you were in a glamping tent and didn't pay a cent, not a dollar spent? You got yourself a little present. But I'm not trying to shame you or blame you because I'm the same, yeah. I do the same as you. Cause I'm a weasel too We're weasels through and through We're weasels through and through We're weasels through and through We're all weasels, baby But deep down isn't everyone A weasel through and through No We're weasels And weasels are people too there's weasels all around us, even on this very podcast. Oh, no. I think of Hamish and the tailor made golf clubs. Happy to pay. He could have at least made an effort to cover it up. <laughs> but when he's hitting off the tee, when he's putting on the green, he'll know deep down inside the weasel that he's been. And I think of Andy Lee Clean skin And the here. kids' books that he writes They're all the same story <laughs> And Andy's taken several bites <laughs> When he's cashing all his checks From Dimmix and Big W He'll know deep down inside He's a weasel through and through We're all weasels through and through we're all weasels through and through. We're all weasels through and through. We're all weasels, baby. But deep down, is in everyone a weasel through and through? We're all weasels, and weasels are people too. Well done. Well Outstanding. done. Outstanding. Beautiful. Um, I take Beautiful offense work. and my legal team will be from the books will be right up I against you, Jack. I said at the um, time, Jack, I was happy to pay. I was simply asking Andy if he had a contact at the golf company where he was getting his clubs for free. This isn't, this isn't about all defending our weasel actions. Okay, here, Look, here's my like, verdict. Let's, let's be honest, verdict. in this day and age, of course, we do live, um, you know, everyone's responsible for weasel behaviour. Mm. Largely driven by social media. If you have mm. a platform, people yeah. are, people like to um, allow the weaselness to seep into mm. their DNA. Mm. Having but, said that, I would yeah. like to declare Andy and I innocent as yep. charged. <laughs> and I'm going to say, Blake's the, the biggest weasel. Is- <laughs> 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 I was going to say, split decision, I think the beer's the worst. Okay, yeah, it's still a great, great song, but um, you can't take beer from a charity, mate. That's the takeaway. 